One of the most important variables in thermodynamics as regarding chemistry is the Gibbs free energy. And this combines the enthalpy and entropy um, process of a reaction to tell us whether something is spontaneous or not, whether it can occur without any external driving force. Uh, the Gibbs free energy we write as delta G. Uh, hopefully you've heard of delta G before and it's a very familiar thing. And delta G is defined as delta H, our enthalpy, remember this is our heat, uh, minus T times delta S, again our entropy or disorder. And T here is the temperature. And what's so useful about the Gibbs free energy is it tells us whether a process is spontaneous at, cons at a constant temperature and pressure. So just, th just like how the enthalpy was only heat at constant pressure, the Gibbs free energy only tells us about spontaneity at constant temperature and pressure. A negative Gibbs free energy means a spontaneous process. And a positive Gibbs free energy tells us that the process is not spontaneous. Now one thing thermodynamics does not tell us that I will just emphasize is that it can tell us whether a process is possible to happen. Uh, so a negative Gibbs free energy is required for a process to occur on its own, but it's not sufficient. Um, the thing that Gibbs, the Gibbs free energy tells us nothing about is how fast a process can happen. Uh, so that is determined by kinetics. Uh, and there may be reasons, there may be barriers in the way that prevent a process from actually happening at a measurable rate. Uh, the classic example of this is that the lowest Gibbs free energy um, carbon allotrope is graphite. Graphite is the lowest energy um, way of arranging the, the atoms in, in uh if you have pure carbon. Um, but if we, you know, another way of arranging them, another allotrope is diamond. Uh, there's some other ones, buckyballs, uh, C60, Buckminster fullerene, or uh, carbon nanotubes are some other ones. These are perfectly stable, these other allotropes. So diamonds and buckyballs and other allotropes. Um, they should all turn into graphite eventually, and they will, given enough time. Uh, but the kinetics are very, very slow. Right, there's, there's, you have to put in quite a bit of energy to rearrange all the bonds. And so diamonds, as they say, are forever, uh, even though technically they're not thermodynamically stable. So this, this spontaneous process doesn't tell us anything about how fast something happens, uh, and that's, some, that's a completely separate measurement that's based on kinetics.